it's Tuesday evening, April maybe 20th, I think it is. Um, today's practice, another gentle yoga practice for the evening. Um, yoga block, yoga strap will be sufficient. I have one here. I am sitting on my yoga block. So let's take a few moments, come into a cross legged seat. And it's going to be very off the cuff today, just working on whatever tensions are in the body and kind of moving through a practice keeping it gentle, yeah, keeping it moving. So I'm pretty close to you guys in terms of distance. I'm not gonna have anything standing, maybe a down dog, something like that. Um, let's take a few moments, close our eyes. Relax the shoulders, resting your hands on your lap. Take a few moments to just start turning inward, feeling your seat root down into the mat or the block. Allow the outer thighs to press down onto the mat. Allow your spine to lengthen, your shoulders to drop, and your arms to rest heavily on your lap. With your eyes closed, you can draw your chin up slightly towards your chest. You can get just a little bit of a stretch along the back of the neck. Keep dropping the shoulders, and then draw them slightly back and down. Relax your jaws. And taking deep, steady breaths, allowing each in-breath to expand your abdomen, rib cage, and chest. And each out breath to create a subtle recoiling inward of the chest, rib cage, and abdomen. Just feel your breath move in your body as you keep your body in relative stillness. just want you to focus on taking slow, deep, steady breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. And take an in-breath and allow the chin to come up toward the ceiling. Feel the front of the neck get a little stretch. Draw your chin slightly forward so you don't let the head just drop back onto the upper back. Relax your jaws and face. And then slowly inhale, return the head to center. And then let's exhale, release the right ear toward the right shoulder. So I'll be mirroring you today. Feel the left side of your neck at a stretch and really root the left seat and relax the left shoulder. Find your breath. Allow yourself to soften around the shoulder region. Then inhale, carefully bring your head to center and exhale, release the left ear toward the left shoulder and relax the right shoulder and really root the right seat. And remember, right side might get a little tense too, right? Because it's going into the stretch. inhale bring the head back to center and then exhale turn your head to the right as if you were trying to look over your right shoulder but keep your eyes closed relax your forehead then inhale return to center and then exhale turn to look over the left shoulder relax keep your eyes closed just feel the action in the neck inhale return to center and then exhale slightly drop the chin relax the shoulders on your next in-breath, slowly sweep your arms up, spiraling the triceps inward, connecting the palms and pinkies overhead, and then exhale, hands in prayer center. Two more times, inhale, slowly sweep your arms up, spiral the triceps inward, connect the palms and pinkies overhead, and exhale, hands in prayer center, and one more time, inhale, slowly sweeping the arms up, spiraling the triceps inward, connecting the palms and pinkies overhead, and then exhale, hands in prayer center. Let's release the hands down onto the left, draw the shoulders back. We'll blink the eyes open. Let's inhale, draw the tailbone back, lift the chest, allow the collarbones to broaden. And then exhale, tailbone between the thighs, hollow out your belly, round your spine, look inward. And again, inhale, tailbone back, shoulders back, chest lifts. Exhale, tailbone between the thighs, hollow out your belly, round your spine, look inward. And one more time, inhale, tailbone back, shoulders back, chest lifts. 
And then exhale, tailbone between the thighs, hollow out your belly, round your spine, look inward. Now inhale, return the spine to center. If you're on a block, you may wish to come off the block. Take a moment here, just make your foundation a little perhaps wider here. Front and back, not so much side to side. Root the seat, hands onto your lap. Let's inhale, lift the chest, then exhale, hinge and fold forward. Allow your spine to lengthen. I'm just gonna back up a little bit so you can see me a little bit better here. Let yourself hinge forward, root the seat. Draw the shoulders back and connect to your breath. Feel both sit bones root down. Maybe your forehead comes down to the mat. If it doesn't, no worries. If you're pretty close, right, you can take a block. Press your forehead on the block at any three different heights here. Then inhale, slowly bring your spine back up. Let's take the right hand to the outside of the right hip. Root the left seat, inhale, the left arm rises, and then exhale up and over to your right. So I bring my left forearm down. You don't have to. You can keep your left hand down. Try to stack your shoulders, stacking the hips, in essence, lining them up, looking up toward the ceiling and reaching your left arm up and over. Maybe get a little more stretch, trying to bring the hands together. And as you do so, gently pull on that left hand with your right hand. You'll have that listen to your little tricep stretch. Really draw the, right, the left elbow back. Just a couple more breaths. Try not to dump into the lower back. This is not essential, this is optional. Then inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, release the left hand, root the left palm down, root the right seat, inhale, the right arm rises. Then exhale, up and over to your left. Lengthen the spine, stack the shoulders, really fan that right rib cage out. You can stay here on the palm, on the elbow, or maybe reach that right arm down. Interlace your fingers, draw that right elbow back, look up toward the ceiling, get a little bigger stretch here. Sometimes the things I say sound inane even to me, a little bigger stretch. Get a big, deeper stretch, bigger stretch, more effective stretch. Release the left hand down, inhale, the right arm rises, and then exhale, sweep the right arm down. Draw the shoulders back. We're gonna take the hands behind us and take either opposite hand to opposite forearm or opposite hand to opposite elbow behind you. Lift your chest. And we're gonna exhale, hinge a quarter of the way forward. Try to imagine a diagonal line or imagine that I put a dowel or a broom handle up against your lower back all the way to the occipital ridge, the bony protrusion at the base of the skull there. And you're trying to just touch that dowel or broomstick the entire time. Root the seat, might feel those inner thighs, get a little bit of a stretch. Press the outer thighs down. Draw the shoulders back and feel like somebody pulls your elbows back. So you get a little more length there. Good, now inhale, keep the lower, keep your um, forearms on that lower back. Lift your chest, drop your shoulders. Now as you're ready, take your hands down, turn the fingers out and hug the inner elbows and lift the chest. Get a little bigger, uh, greater stretch here. Good, then inhale, restack the spine. Exhale, bring the arms forward. Let's switch the cross of the legs, opposite leg in front or on top, whatever you wanna do tonight. Draw the shoulders back, fingertips to the mat, inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, once again, hinge and fold. Try to keep your seat rooted. Arms can go forward, forehead can go to a block, the earth, or wherever is appropriate for you. Find length through your spine. Draw your shoulders back and the chest forward and find your breath. Imagine you can soften some of the tension, especially in the lower back and shoulders. Good, and inhale, slowly bring the spine back up, drop the shoulders. Let's go ahead and exhale, rotate the upper body to the right, left arm to the outside of the right thigh, right arm is behind you. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, and if you can, snake that right arm behind you, maybe catch your left inner thigh. Try not to force it, keep the spine tall, it's more important than how deep your twist is. Every exhalation, try to add a little more twist as safe for you. And inhale, return to center and exhale. Let's rotate the upper body to the left, left arm behind you where it snakes around to your right inner thigh. Draw your shoulders back and down. Inhale, elongate the spine, exhale, twist. 
going to add a little more twist to each exhalation. Good, then we inhale, return the spine to center. So let's go ahead, draw the shoulders back, interlace your fingers behind you, draw your knuckles back, lift your chest, and maybe the knuckles come down to the ground. Rock a little bit left and right, press down into the mat with those knuckles, with the seat, really stretch out into the shoulders. And then exhale, hinge and fold, reaching your arms up and maybe forward. Draw the chin in towards your chest, draw the shoulders away from your ears and find your breath. Good, now draw the knuckles back, inhale, bring the spine up. And then exhale, release your hands. Draw the shoulders back. Now let's come up to all fours. Placing your wrists directly underneath the shoulders and the knees directly underneath your hips and tuck your toes. Let's exhale, tilt the tailbone between the thighs, hollow out the belly, round the thoracic spine, rock back slightly as you look inward in your angry cat. Then inhale, point the toes, lengthen the tailbone, unfurl the spine cap. And again, exhale, tuck your toes, hollow out your belly, round your thoracic spine, rock back slightly in your cat, looking inward, belly or chest, chest a little deeper. And inhale, point the toes, lengthen the tailbone, unfurl the spine cap. And one more time, exhale, tuck your toes, hollow out your belly, round your thoracic spine, rocking back slightly in cat, looking inward. And then inhale, point the toes, lengthen the tailbone, unfurl your spine cap. Now return to neutral spine. Draw the shoulders back. Spread the fingers out wide, exhaling, hips up and heels back, downward facing dog. Sending the seat back and up. Draw the chest toward the thighs and allow the collarbones to broaden. Connecting to your breath. So your thumbs, pointer and pinky fingers want to root down a little deeper, as do the inner and outer edges of the palms of the hands. Draw the shoulders back, feel the triceps spiraling in. Feel the centers of your underarms kind of hollow out a little bit. Now send the seat up, but sink the heels down. So not everybody can take their heels down. If you can't, no worries, you lift the heels, but keep trying to get that buttock, the buttocks up as the heels sink. So you create that stretch there. Breathe. Keep pushing the mat away from you with your hands, drag the mat back with your feet. Really lengthen through the calves. I like to hold this pose for a bit. Nice big stretch. Keep trying to eke out a little more length. Keep pulling the belly button in and up. Good, now let's just exhale and step the right foot forward. You can assist your foot forward with your hands if you need to. So you wanna line your toes up with your fingers roughly. And let's just go ahead and sink that left leg down. So I want you to shimmy that left leg back. Point the left toes if you're on the quad, the flesh just above the knee. If you're on your knee, then I want you to keep your toes tucked. Draw the right hip back and the left hip forward. And for right now, just keep the hands framing that right leg. You can use a block, right? If you have two blocks, bring the earth up to you. Lift your chest, draw the right hip back, back hug the right inner thigh toward the center line. So imagine an imaginary line here along the center, straight up and down of your mat. You're hugging that midline here. And if you feel like you opened up some space in that left front hip, tuck the toes, shimmy that leg back a little more, and continue to draw the right hip back. Great, so it should be a big stretch in the front of the left hip, the left hip flexor. Lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders back, and find your breath. Now take the right hand and place it to the inside of the right foot, and maybe bring the palms down flat. Again, draw the right hip back and the left hip forward. Keep hugging that right knee, this time into your tricep. Good, keep breathing. Now we're gonna take a moment, I want you to turn your right toes out and let the right knee start to open up a little bit as you lift the right toes. So I'm not going for my max stretch just yet. I am gonna draw my right buttock back and start to kind of try to parallel my right outer thigh. And breathe. So you're lifting your toes up to stabilize your right kneecap, okay? So you don't want to let the toes sink down, lift them up. If you can, come down onto your forearms and elbows. Draw the right hip back and the left hip forward. Soften your chest, draw the shoulders back. You're actively pressing into the mat with the elbows and the forearms, but not as if you were fully in plank, just enough to engage the chest. 
and start to rock your hips a little bit left and right. And breathe. Slow, deep, steady breaths. And maybe go to a space where you like the twist or the stretch. And you're going to take your right hand to the ground and take your left hand to your ankle or foot and reach your right hand behind you as you twist to your right. Stay here for a little bit. I'm placing my hand on my lower back, making sure I'm guiding my right hip back. And those of you who can, just reach your right arm behind you and touch down on the ground. Draw that right shoulder back. Breathe. Try to rotate a little deeper without losing the even amount of weight through both sides. Maybe see if you can bend your left knee and just flex the foot. Stay there. Try not to draw the buttocks back. Try to keep drawing hips forward. If you feel any pain in your hamstring, just straighten the leg out. Might feel some extra stretch here in the piriformis and the external hip. Now release the left leg down. Inhale the right arm up. Take a stretch. Maybe touch the wall if you have one near you. Lengthen your right buttock away. Then exhale, return to center. We're going to tuck the left toes. And take the right hand to the outside of the right foot, straighten out your right leg, flex your right foot. So you, I sometimes will go into full splits here. Today I want you to try something different, just keeping it really gentle. So paralleling the chest to the mat, draw the right hip back. Notice my foot is flexed, so I'm drawing my toes toward me and sending my heel away. Now keeping your foot flexed, you're going to feel this kind of in the belly of the hamstring, right? Center of the leg. Now I want you to turn your foot to the right. And notice how it kind of moves along the... Um, outer leg kind of winds into the inner knee a little bit. See if you can just hold here for a little bit. Maybe walk your hands forward. Breathe. So not agitating yourself, not necessarily going to a complete edge. And then return the toes back up toward the ceiling and then turn the toes to the left. Heel's going to go out to the right and draw your right hip back. The right hip's going to try to camp right. I want you to draw it back. You notice how it goes into that outer knee region. Breathe. Relax the shoulders. You're going to try to take on some tension. Good. And then return the toes to center. Stay here. Those of you who'd like to, point your left toes and just shift your seat back onto your heel. Reach for your right foot and fold forward. Connect to your breath here. Lengthen your spine. Soften the chest. Flex your foot so you really release the hamstring. Breathe. Keep drawing the tailbone back and the chest forward. Then we're going to place the hands to the mat. We're going to inhale, come back up. Tuck the left toes. Lift up off the left knee. Plant the palm and sweep as you exhale the right leg back to downward facing dog. And sending the seat back and up, drawing the chest toward the thighs, and feel the difference right side, left side. Maybe lift and lower the heels a little bit. I'm just going to walk a little forward, just so you can see better. Good, now we're going to exhale, step the left foot forward, toes in line with the fingers. I'm going to adjust my clothing here a little bit. Draw the left hip back and the right hip forward, shimmy your right leg down and back. And again, if you're on your quad, you can stay with the top of the foot to the mat. If you're on the knee, prefer you tuck your toes. So keeping your hands framing that left foot, we're going to draw the left hip back and the right hip forward. Feel that right hip flexor start to get a stretch. Breathe. Lift your chest, draw your shoulders down, and connect to your breath. Now take the left hand to the inside of the left foot, bring the palms down to the mat, keep lengthening your spine. Lift your left toes up and just turn the left foot slightly to the left. Notice how my hips start to drop. I'm not going to go for my full drop, but I'm going to start drawing my left hip back. I'm going to shimmy my right leg back a little more. Getting that outer left thigh kind of parallelish to the ground, and then if you can, come down onto your forearms, elbows. Keep drawing the left hip back and the right hip forward, connecting to your breath, drawing the shoulders back and the chest forward. Keep even weight in both arms. And start to move your hips a little bit left, right. You notice your body will try to, it will kind of go there anyway once it starts to open up a little more space.
You can find that even distance. And we're gonna start to turn to the left, take your right hand to the left ankle, reach your left arm up and then take the hand to the small of the back. Keep drawing the left buttock back, twist, and some of you may wish to take your hand to the mat behind you. Draw the shoulder back. Try to keep even weight on both sides. Breathe. So you'll notice the depth of the stretch here into that left um, hip extent, uh, external hip rotator and the piriformis, as well as a bit into the IT band. And see if you can bend your right knee and flex your foot. You'll notice my misalignment, right? I have um, L4, L5 injured and a torn sacrum. So I have a bit of misalignment here. Keep drawing that left hip back. Try not to send the booty back. Try to keep going forward. If it's too painful or if you feel pain in the hamstring, release. I'm actually going to release because I'm feeling a lot of tension. Then we're going to inhale, reach the left arm up, reach for the wall, lengthen, maybe even push into the wall if you can touch it. Or so that gives you a little more stretch through the left hip or seat. Left arm up, return to center, and tuck the toes, bend that left knee, and we're going to frame the front foot, straighten out the left leg, keep the right hip directly over the knee. You're gonna exhale, fold. Remember, we're flexing on purpose, drawing the toes toward us, so we really deepen our stretch along the hamstring. You should feel this in the belly of the hamstring. It's a big stretch for most of us. Draw the shoulders back, chest forward. Then maybe turn your foot a little bit to the left, like we practiced before, so it goes a little more IT band, outer knee. Wraps around underneath. Maybe you walk your hands forward and take a little deeper stretch, try not to push. Then bring the foot back to center, keep flexing, and then turn the heel stays where it is. You just turn the toes to the right. Find your breath. You're going to feel that in the outer hip, knee. Draw the shoulders back. You see how my elbows are splaying out. This is me feeling tension, especially in the left um, outer hip right now. Then return to center. You can stay here. Those of you who like to point your right toes, sit back on your right heel, flex your left foot, and fold. Really deep in that hamstring stretch. Connect to your breath. Left hip back. Breathe. Then we're gonna come back up to center, tuck the right toes, hands frame the front foot, lift up off the knee and exhale, sweep back to a downward facing dog again. So just walk a little bit forward. So I'm gonna seat back and up and draw the chest toward the thighs, stretch yourselves out, sink into the heels. Tricep spiraling, spread the fingers out wide. Good, now inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet, exhale, take Come to your knees, cross the ankles behind you, and roll over your crossed ankles. So I'd like you to lie down on your right side. And we're gonna take a moment. Actually, let's rest our head down on the ground, palm down. Let your ear rest on the bicep. So rarely in yoga do we do any kind of sideline work. I enjoy incorporating it. So what we're gonna do here is just straighten out the right leg. And I want you to flex your right foot to help support you. And try to create a straight line down. So I positioned myself into tree pose. Not everybody can access this. You can always come here to the foot, to the calf, just avoid your knee or up in toward the inner thigh. I want you to take your left hand to that left inner thigh. So notice I'm avoiding my knee, I'm going closer to my hip and I'm gonna lengthen my hip away and try to find my balance. That's why I have my left foot flexed. So I am engaging some of my obliques here, but I'm also trying to assist with my foot a little bit. I'm trying to lengthen through the left side. And I'd like you to go ahead, inhale, bring the left knee in toward you, and hold on to the left shin. Lengthen your left buttock away. Draw the left knee toward your left underarm. Turn the toes up if you can. Really reach through that um, right heel. Then catch your calf, ankle, or foot, and lift that left leg up, drawing the left leg toward you. You go ahead and bend your elbow and you see I'm trying to gauge. Is today one of those days that I can reach my big toe? 
turns out that today is. So I'm gonna reach for my big toe. I'm gonna lengthen my left buttock away. I'm gonna keep my right elbow down. I'm just gonna take my left hand to the um, ankle, heel, whatever works. And I'm gonna focus on elongating here, resting my neck. So you don't have to catch your foot, right? If you can, great. If you can't, great. You just hold on to the back of the leg with your left hand. Keep lengthening your left buttock away. Breathe. We're gonna be here a little bit. You can move around a little bit and find some space. Connect to your breath. Breathe. Try not to stick the booty out. The booty's gonna to try to go out once you keep pulling it in. Then inhale. Lift your left leg up. Just kind of let it float down. You can even release your left arm over your left ear and rest your palms together. So find control left side. Then we're just gonna stack the left side. And reach through the left hand. Take your right hand to the left wrist and pull gently on that left wrist as you draw your left shoulder back. Get some stretch here, pull your abdominals in. Breathe. Good, now what we're gonna do is sweep the left leg forward, turn onto the belly. So my left leg, you can't see it here. The foot, the toes are in line with the left hip. So imagine my leg going straight through. I'm gonna come up onto my elbows and align my elbows under my shoulders, point the right toes straight underneath you, flex your left foot, and try to get your hips and pelvis square on the mat. If this doesn't work, you just bend your left knee and you look back and see that the ankle is in line with the left hip. Otherwise, straighten the left leg, draw the left hip back, flex your left foot, press even weight in both elbows, and breathe. Gets into the inner thigh. It's a little bit of a right spinal extension. Just a few more breaths. It's breathing here, connecting, elongating feeling the hip points anchor. So that left inner thigh, you want to root it down. You want to root that left inner calf down. Draw the left buttock back. Press the right quadricep down. Find your breath, draw the shoulders back. A couple more breaths. Then we'll go ahead, sweep the left leg back. Uh, an awkward angle here. Press into both forearms, elbows, pull the belly in, but anchor the hip points down. One more breath. A little variation of Sphinx. Then we'll go ahead, roll onto the right side, bring the knees in, and we're gonna go ahead and lie down on our left side. So for me, that's a big transition because of my back. So what I'm gonna do is just, again, right, you sit up here, and it's like you're mimicking a little bit of a forward fold to release from the extension. So left hand down, rest your ear on your um, bicep, straighten your legs out, stack the hips, stack the knees, stack the shoulders, breathe. So now I'm going to bring that right leg into tree. So remember, your tree can be down by your foot, your tree can be at your calf, or your tree can be here up in our thigh. Remember to flex your bottom foot, lengthen your spine, and then press your right hand into your right inner thigh. Just try to lengthen through the hip. Pull the belly in, connect to your breath. Really use your obliques. I think that's why a lot of times we don't do this kind of sideline stuff in yoga because it is a bit of work and it can be not very relaxing, but I find it quite satisfying. I like sideline work. Good, now we're gonna to start to bring that right knee in toward the underarm and turn the toes up. So I'm still trying to lengthen. I'm trying not to hinge at my hips here. So I'm obviously hinging here, right? Drawing. Um, going into flexion there, but I'm trying not to hinge laterally, right? Now we're going to reach that right leg up and draw it towards you. You can hold on to the hamstring, calf, ankle, foot, and I'm going to give it a few moments. So it feels like it might be a little tighter for me today. Keep reaching through the heel and keep lengthening your buttock away, working in oppositional lines, right? The heel goes in one direction, the buttock in the other. And try, can I maybe catch my toe and it turns out that I can. It's not as comfortable as it was on the other side. So I'm gonna really work to find my balance, really work to relax and breathe and see if I can't make it a little easier on myself by letting go of some of the tension and the ego that gets in the way. 
three. So remember, you don't have to catch your foot, right? You can go ahead and catch your hamstring, catch your calf, whatever you can reach. Listen to your body's needs. Then we're going to slowly kind of release the right leg and place the right hand up into the left. Lengthen through both sides of the waist and just go slow. Use your obliques. Let the leg drop one on top of the other. Take your left hand to your right wrist. Gently pull on that right wrist as you send your heels away from you. Pull your belly in. Breathe. Good. Then we're going to exhale. Roll onto our belly. Flex that right foot. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Point the left foot, left quadricep to the mat. You're gonna get that right inner thigh to the earth, right inner calf. If this doesn't work for you, right, you bend your right knee, line your ankle up with your knee. Push away from gravity and breathe. Anchor both hip points down. So avoid sacrificing, right? So avoid lifting that right hip just to keep the leg straight. You can bend your knee. Breathe. Feel into the low back. Like for me, on the side, it goes into the low back. Again, my L4, L5 herniated S1 torn in a car accident. So, you know, my right side's not as happy most of the time. So I have to kind of work with it and be mindful. Drop the shoulders, lift the chest. Just a couple more breaths. Good, then we're gonna bend the knee, come into our variation of Sphinx pose. Hip points to the earth, both elbows underneath the shoulders. On these, I'm gonna just turn my palms up, separate my forearms apart for a moment, pull the belly in. And then I'm gonna exhale, roll onto my back. So what I'd like you to do here is find a neutral spine Walk your heels in toward your buttocks and just pause. Move your hips a little bit side to side. Right, lengthen the left buttock toward the left heel, then right buttock toward the right heel. Little swivel, swivel. Good, then step into both feet as you bring hips back to center. Hands are down to the ground. We're gonna just inhale, tilt the tailbone up, imprint the low back, pull the belly in. Then exhale, squeeze the buttocks and just peel the lower back up. Keep the middle back up and the up, I'm sorry, keep the middle back down and the upper back down. Just go into the low back so the lumbar is off the ground, the booty is off the ground. Pull the belly in, tilt the tailbone up, draw those inner thighs toward one another. Hold here. Press the shoulders back. Connect to your breath. And then slowly exhale, lower down. Return to center. Bring the soles of the feet together. Open the knees apart. Rest your hands on your inner thighs, turn your head to the left, and breathe. Keep lengthening your spine. Find neutral. Relax your jaws and your face. Feel both buttocks root down, both shoulders root down, both outer thighs drop, both inner thighs stretch. Inhale the nose to center and just turn your head to the right. Keep the left shoulder down, left buttock down. Breathe. Maybe check in which side of your neck's a little more mobile. I know I notice a difference in mine. And inhale the nose to center. Draw those inner thighs together. Open the arms to saguaro cactus arms. So just like goalpost arms, saguaro cactus arms, 290 degree angles of the elbows. Let's exhale, release the knees to the left and the head to the right. Keep the right shoulder down. Now if you'd like to, take the right foot, cross it like a figure four in front of your left quad, and then draw the right outer knee away from you. So put a nice stretch into that internal rotator. Breathe. 
Bring your head to the right. If that's too much on the back, you'll feel it. And just bring the head to center. Nice big stretch, low back, piriformis, inner thigh. And inhale the head to center as you slightly draw your knee towards you. Exhale, stack the hips, knees, ankles, and feet. Inhale, bring the soles of the feet, knees back to center. Exhale, release the knees to the right and the head to the left. We're just gonna scooch away a little bit. And then bring the left sole of the foot to right in front of that right quad. Open the left knee away from you. Breathe. Feel the stretch in that left inner thigh left side of your body, turning your head to the left. Remember if that's too much, especially feeling in the performance, you can bring your head to center. I really, really like this twist. Notice that my left shoulder is down. Good, then inhale, nose and to center, left knee towards you. Exhale, rest the left leg on top of the right. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. And gently bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your hamstrings or shins, give yourselves a little squeeze, rock left and rock right. We're almost done and going into Shavasana. So you're gonna once again, bring your soles of the feet together, hands to your hip points for a moment, press down and release your hands on either side of your hips. And I just want you to lift your tailbone up a little bit, low back lifts, let the knees drop out, stretch into those inner thighs, into the hip flexors there. Hold here, breathe, pressing into the outer edges of the feet. Good, then exhale, slowly lower the spine. Straighten your legs out toward the corners of the mat. Today I'm just gonna use a block on my occipital ridge, the blade protrusion at the back of the skull here. I'm gonna let my chin drop, so I'm gonna go right to the edge of the block. I'm gonna release my hands, palms face up. Close my eyes. For about a minute or so in Shavasana. Just relax the entire length of your body and do that on an exhalation. Feel the skull bone touch down on the block or the earth. Feel the shoulders touch down on the mat. The length of the arms all the way into the tops of the hands. The entire length of your back into your buttocks. The back of the legs and into the feet. Relax your forehead, eyes, jaws, chest, rib cage, hip points, quads, shins, and tops of the feet. Breathe. your mind stay focused on the breath Just start to wiggle your toes and your fingers here. And then slowly rotate your ankles and wrists in both directions. Good. Let's bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Take a moment, carefully bring your knees into your chest and then exhale, roll onto your right side. I want my left. So we inhale, come on up to a cross-legged seat. Rest your hands on your lap. Take a moment here, closing your eyes, lay your ears over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips as you feel your sits bones root down into the mat. Let's process the practice. Let's take a moment, bring the palms together in prayer, bow the chin toward the chest and take a moment to practice gratitude, grateful for someone and something this evening. Om Shanti, Om. Peace to each of you. Have a wonderful evening. Namaste.